Welcome to Clean Water and Energy Research, Dr. Sager. You've been assigned an office and a shared lab space. Warning. Electrical shortages detected. Lifts have been taken offline for health and safety. Yeah, I noticed. Stupid elevator. Ugh. The freaking doors won't open. Ugh. You go ahead. See if you can find Dr. Chowdhury's office. The hallway? I don't know. Follow it until there's no more. Hey, I... Uh, I think... Uh, oh, come on, doors. Uh, yes, I'm out, finally. Phew. Okay, I'm gonna scout for a way to medical, and you... Say hello to Dr. Chowdhury. <laughs> Imagine, that'd be very awkward. You have insufficient permissions to access the laboratories. Please see Dr. Chowdhury to complete orientation. Have you seen her office yet? It shouldn't be hard to find. It's pretty cool seeing parts of this building I've never been to before. Looks like this was a meeting about the Clean Water Initiative. That program's older than this facility. Maybe their work... Please wait here until Dr. Trowdry has returned to complete your induction. Yeah, if I were you, I'd have a snoop and see if you can find her guide. Our contracts are pretty clear about not removing Bradwell Tech from the building. I'm clearly not a model employee. Doesn't look like a light read to me. Mira used to work with charities. That's pretty cool. I've never done anything that helps other people in a basic humanitarian sort of way. I want to change that, though. I've certainly never had someone make me a bespoke bit of furniture because of the work I've done. Well, it's an office. Nothing more, nothing less. Don't forget to snoop around for a guide.
Using the Bradwell voicemail system, your colleagues can leave you encrypted and secured messages that only you can access for when you're too busy working to take a voice call. Using the Bradwell voice... This gives me flashbacks to my first day at Bradwell. Wow, that's already four years ago. Lots has changed since then. Except the offices. They're still depressing as hell. Welcome back, Dr. Chowdhury. Your new Bradwell buddy, Dr. Alex Sager, is waiting for you in your office. Welcome to your daily meditation. A meditation that will help you unwind and enter a deep state of relaxation. Hey, I've managed to get into one of the power distribution control centers. It's not looking good. The facility generators aren't in great shape, so we need to find a way to get more power on the grid. Or we may be stuck here. say to that picture is, I wish there was one of those big sparking levers to pull that powers everything up. Let's find the next best thing. Or ice cream. Did you push something? I just saw a panel light up. A photo bioreactor? So that's what they've been working on down here. I'll be honest, I don't really know much about photo bioreactors, only that algae and sunlight is involved. Thank God it's the longest day of the year. Oh. It's using hydrogen-powered fuel cells. Those things are powerful. Amazing, really, when... Uh-oh. Red pop-up boxes are never good. What the hell is happening? Are you okay? And now my screens have gone blank. Do you have any more details? Can you show me what's going on? Not just one, but three problems. Huh. I, I passed some CO2 extraction equipment earlier, so I'll go check it out. You, however, need to look into the algae pod and pump room situation. If we can fix these, I'm pretty sure I can bridge the fuel cells into the main grid and power those service elevators. Happy birthday, Dr. Giller. Your colleagues have organized a surprise birthday party this afternoon. Please act surprised. Happy birthday, Ken. Uh, just wanted to give you a quick buzz. If we can have a meeting in the lab at, say, quarter to six. It's pretty important. It um, needs to be before...
Okay, I'm at the CO2 extraction system. Obviously, it's not running. But I can't tell why. Because it does have power. Huh. Let me try to figure this out. Water clarifiers, which are all filled with the waste of the past that is the drink of tomorrow. Ugh. Anyway, the pump room should be just on the other side. Have you found a way to get over there? It's locked, so we'll have to find you another way across. Oh, I have an idea. I'm gonna try something. Okay. Is one of the clarifier walkways rotating? Can you send me a photo? I need to know which one is moving. Nice! This might actually work! You'll have to send me the numbers of the walkways you need me to rotate. It's a bit of a hack. Each walkway seems to have multiple stopping positions, so you might have to try a few times. You are currently too close to the walkway gate. For your own safety, Please move away from the gate and try again. Uh... Sure, rotating number three. My bag of tricks gets you number six. Will do. One more time. One sec. Turning nine, not sure what to run. Uh-oh, something just short-circuited. I, I, I can't stop the walkway. You'll have to MacGyver your way through it. Okay, same one again. One more time. Okay. Number eight, I shall rotate. Will do. Ah. 
Um, this photo is so low powered, it looks like the moon in a lunar eclipse. Let's find some power to juice it up. I can't stop it. Maybe you can block it somehow? I found lots of empty bottles, so if I can't get the CO2 apparatus to work, we can just collect our exhaled breath. Ugh, might take some time. <laughs> Two years, four months, 15 days, 21 hours, eight minutes, and five seconds. Don't be cute. Ooh, I heard that. I hope everything's still attached. To you, I mean. Mr. Boyd. Don't forget to attend Dr. Giller's birthday celebrations. Guide, note to self. In future when maintenance say the water shuts off by it. Hmm. Yeah, those pipes definitely need fixing. detected. SMP function offline. Oh, yeah. About the SMP in water? Use of the SMP in water will result in burns, electric shocks, numbness, skin lesions, hyperactivity, and hair loss. They kind of don't like each other. Or they like each other too much. One of the two.
them! The CO2 filters! Ugh. They're super heavy. Need to look for some wheels. Water flow in pump room three restored. Pumps have been reactivated. Look at you, fixing it. Awesome. Now go get those algae pods installed. I'm nearly done with reconnecting the CO2 supply.
Nice. Install algae pods. Check. Who doesn't love a tick next to a list item? So beautiful. Good news. I fixed the CO2 supply and connected the hydrogen fuel cells to the main grid. You know what this means. We can try starting the reactor again. So stop whatever you're doing and head back to the photobioreactor control room. That startup button isn't going to push itself. Great. Here we go. All systems are looking good. Not seeing any red air boxes so far. Looks like our work here is done. Ugh, what now? Not again! No, fix the pipe! Fix the pipe, quick! <coughs> this stuff is getting into the <coughs> ventilation system. <coughs> Hurry! What? It can't. SMP, but, but I thought, this, this is very bad. Fuel cells fully charged. Power to clean water and energy research restored. Forget what you saw. We need to go. Head to the service elevators, now. I'm in one of the service elevators. Connection lost.